The ideology. Where does it come from and how has it been imposed on society? Gender ideology states that the differences between men and women are simply the result of education and social convention, that it is possible to choose whether to be a man or a woman without biology having anything to say in the matter. It is obvious that this is not the case. The male and female anatomy and psychology are different because biology makes men and women sexed and designates different biological roles for them in order to preserve the species, amongst other things. Gender ideology does not have any scientific basis at all. That is why it is pure ideology. It is, in fact, in constant contradiction with science and reality. Its origin is in a radicalization of the principles of feminism, which introduces the concept of gender. To be a woman and a mother is considered a purely ancestral social role in which the female was subject to oppression and in which the male chauvinist and the structures created by a patriarchal society were the guilty oppressors. This ideology implies contempt for real women and everything that defines them, particularly femininity and maternity. Hatred of men as the oppressors, a conflict which mirrors the class struggle. The notion that women should be like men and live a masculine sexuality, that is, without ties and without consequences, thus eradicating motherhood and hence the claim of a right to abortion. Homosexual lobbies also emerge to act in unison with feminism as it provides a justification for their sexual preferences and highlights them as options that can liberate women from a coercively enforced social role and in which men cease to be the oppressors of women. It means the beginning of the end of femininity and masculinity. By the way, all this happened to turn out to be an extraordinary way to obtain funding, political power, and a business of substantial proportions. The launching of this ideology was prepared by assaulting international institutions in order to obtain all kinds of recommendations, intentions, statements, commitments of member states, etc., which have no legal force and are not binding, but which can be presented as mandates of the EU or the UN. A doctrinal and well-coordinated agenda followed. The same strategies, the same methods, and the same phases are reproduced in each country. The weapons used are techniques of manipulation, such as the concealment of data, false social alarms, the appeal to sentimentality in the use of language, etc., and the totalitarian enforcement of their dictum through laws which grant them neo-rights, a disproportionate investment of public resources, the persecution by law and penalization of dissidents, and access to minors at school in order to imbue their ideology behind the backs of parents. As men and women, as citizens, as taxpayers, as parents, we must prevent the proliferation of this ideology which seeks to destroy the most noble attribute of mankind, human dignity.